module six. Module six is about <coughs> social media marketing extended. So it is, yeah, everything else, but not Facebook or Twitter this time. It's like, what else do we have? Uh, what we can use to promote our business in the social media area. So we're gonna talk about, um, yeah, a bit like mobiles and checking in and uh, all that stuff. Um, we have Facebook ads, so it's more like a, an app. So as I talked earlier, like the own content you can use on Facebook. Uh, ads is like, like Google ads or any other ads on the right hand side where you see other people uh, yeah, promoting their product. Um, we talk about a bit YouTube and location-based networking, which is, well, another name for that would be checking in. Uh, we, we talk about mobile and mobile sites or mobile apps, yeah? Do we need that or when do we need that? And finally, uh, about Pinterest and daily deals like Groupon or Scoopon. Okay, and it's all about maximizing our digital potential, so to use whatever we can use, um, not to use it this way, how Batman and Robin, um, yeah, in this case, checking in is not sensible. Uh, we talked about, about Facebook earlier, now we talk about, here yeah, to maximize our Facebook uh, profile, our Facebook account for our business, and we talk a bit more about apps, ads, and sponsored stories. I have an example here. Uh, the apps are the areas where you can provide your unique content under, let's say, the Facebook umbrella, like welcome page, like uh, a campaign, or uh, a little gadget where you provide details about upcoming weather, or whatever you want to do, depending on your audience. Uh, the ads are on the right-hand side, and we talk about how to create an ad on Facebook and why it could make sense for you. And then something called sponsored story that is fairly new. It is, if you have like content going on and many people are sharing or commenting on that content, so they're really engaged, you can decide to use this kind of content as an ad. So people see an ad, but this kind of ad has kind of a social, let's say, touch. Because people see, oh, it's an ad, but actually I can see the comments and the photos of people. So it has not this, this typical character of an ad. It's a bit more social. Highly interesting. Okay, uh, just a quick overview. Where do ads appear on Facebook? The free app is actually if someone shares you or you something about you on its own wall. In the content itself, that's number, sorry, number two, the news feed on the homepage. If someone's sharing information about you, it is an ad, effectively, because their friends, their people, their audience see your business name your photo, your content. So it's effectively a free ad just on a social platform. Uh, the right hand side, it is on mobile uh, devices visible and also if someone's logging out, it's a new place where you can place an ad on Facebook. All right, so we have four options. Let's talk about how it all works. Um, uh, after this, we're gonna talk about why it makes sense to use Facebook ads. I just explained quickly how it all works. Face Facebook ads is very, very similar to Google ads. So I click either, I, I pay either for an impression. So I let Google know I want 1,000 people to see my ad and I pay a price for that. Or I want 1,000 people to click on my ad and I pay a price for each click. So what I need to do before I start working with Facebook ads is effectively Def defining what is my goal, yeah? Do I wanna promote a website? Do I wanna lead a, a new fan, a new consumer to my Facebook profile? Or do I wanna increase my fan base to get started, to get more fans liking my page? So that is something uh, we need to define before we start. The second one is who? Who is my target market? And this is where Facebook has a big advantage compared to uh, other platforms or other uh, ad functionalities. And that is, I can decide where exactly. I can decide the level of education my audience or my, my audience should have. Because we all have a personal profile. 
and lots of people fill out those information like, okay, went to high school here, went to uni here, made a PhD here, is working here and here. So Facebook knows exactly the status of your, let's say, of your uh, knowledge, of your education. So we can use those information. We also know the age, the gender. We know if this guy is single, engaged, married, divorced. So if our target market is, let's say, divorced, male, plus 40 in age, this is what we can do in Facebook. We can, you know, we can go exactly on this target market. Uh, we also can uh, define to say, my ad is only going to be displayed to my own fans, people who like my page. If you have a special promotion going on, for example, you can say only to people who like me and their friends, so a very close relationship, or to everyone in the world. So that is what we have to define. We can define the audience of where our ad should be displayed and to whom. And then, of course, we start to create an ad. Uh, that can be an ad, just a yeah, simple photo. It has a bit of text and where it links to. After that, we define the budget. The budget is either pay per click. So if you provide the link or the like button under your ad, if you want 1,000 clicks, you pay for 1,000 clicks. For each click, is something between $1, $2, depends on uh, the competition. Or you pay for impression, that is CPM. If you say to Facebook, OK, I want 1,000 people seeing my ad, you pay a cheaper price. People may not click, but they see your ad. OK, we also can say per day, the maximum I want to spend is $10. And uh, the maximum per click is, let's say, $2.50, for example. So we are quite under control of how much money we actually spend. And finally, as soon as our ad is running, of course, we need to monitor and control how many people are actually clicking on it, who is clicking on my ad, and who is seeing my ad, and does it make sense for the business. OK, questions? So it's pretty much like a, like Google AdWords. It is very, very similar to Google AdWords. The advantage on Facebook is we have much more information about the consumer. Because you have a Facebook profile, and that means we leave much more information in the background. Yeah. So you said before that the first, the first thing we do is we actually do want to do something free. Um, yeah, you mean if the ad is free? Yeah. In the, no, like the first thing is we, we even call an ad free if someone is sharing the information. Let's like say you upload a photo, and someone clicks on share. This photo and the text goes on his wall. So that is effectively an ad to, to his friends. Everybody's seeing that, but because they did it for free, you didn't pay anyone to do it. It's a kind of a free ad. It is information, but effectively it, we can count this as an ad. Yeah. We talked about targeting and personalization. This is just an overview. This is a screenshot of Facebook ads for me. So Facebook thinks those kind of ads are probably in my interest. I have the three different types of ads here. and the very top, we see a sponsored story. The difference is, in this case, my friends. First one is Debbie Peden. Second one is uh, Bernd Pitts. They liked that page. And I see here, all right, if they like it, or maybe I like it too. I have this testimonial character in this ad. I see a photo and I see someone else actually liked this page or this company. The second one is just a normal ad. And down there, I have something called personalization of ads. I can go in and say, I really are annoyed by getting a specific kind of ad. I click in and say, please hide all ads of this company or of this kind of style, which is good, because then you don't display an ad to a consumer who's not interested at all in your saving money. Something else which is quite interesting on here is if you look into the content of what kind of ads I get displayed, it is 50% social media. For some reason, Facebook knows my interests, my profession, and I get all the different things about social media. I also have an ad for Brisbane. Facebook knows that I live in Brisbane, so I get specific, specific ads for, for the, the yeah, way I live. And actually, I clicked on it. 
because, oh, that's interesting, I didn't know that, and boom. There you go. Yeah, some members are a bit freaky how much they know. <laughs> OK, that's all about ads. Um, what I've seen so far is many operators, many, many companies are using Facebook ads to increase the fan base, to get more fans, more likes for the page. And it works really well. It is quite cheap. And uh, it is, you just need to make sure the ad looks interesting and people will click on it and it will easily create lots of fans for your Facebook page. So if you just start it, it is a nice way to get fans quite quickly and to start or to get the communication and the interaction uh, started. Okay, a second part that might be of, uh, that might be very interesting and that gives your customers on Facebook a huge value are apps and views. This is your own content. It is effectively a website that is stored on your server where you have your website and it is just uploaded to Facebook and it is under the Facebook umbrella. I have a few examples here. It's on the first left corner, the Hilton Hotel, and I've marked one app and that is the booking form. So people can click into this app and actually book a room on Facebook. Depending on the booking engine or the online booking system you have, they provide these kind of app or not, but definitely something uh, you can ask. Lots of them actually share or connect the YouTube channel with other videos to Facebook. So people don't need to go to, face, to, to YouTube, they just look or uh, yeah, view the videos on Facebook. Something else is on the right hand side is a campaign. Win a trip for two to Queensland. Kind of a competition, a campaign. Uh, people are going there, they have to like the page, they leave details uh, of their name and email addresses and then they win something. Uh, I have an example later for that as well. Or down there, we're watching more information about a specific region. Um, yeah, so you can utilize these kind of apps the way you like to do it depending on what kind of information you want to present to your audience. You need a developer for that. You can't just create that and say, okay, somehow I need to put it, I put it on Facebook. Unfortunately, it is a bit of effort to create such a new page or to create uh, a campaign, um, but it is worth it. I have a very small operator here, that is the High Street Motor Inn in Stanthorpe. They just decided to use the newsletter a subscription uh, in their app area to, yeah, to make it worth it or to yeah, give some extra information to their customers. Um, I can give you an example. The Queensland app, the welcome page. What they do here, it is more earlier when we had no timeline yet. It was more about why should I like this page? So they explained a bit what is this company, this page about, and people could decide is it worth it to like this page or not. Uh, that is something you can still do on a welcome page. It explains a little bit more about yeah, Tourism Queensland or your company and why they, yeah, give them a reason why they should like your page. I just scroll down a little bit so you can see. In this case, uh, we offer a bit more information about destinations, about deals, packages, campaigns. Uh, so just a bit more information instead of what you can present on the first page of Facebook. Does the ATDW website link back to this one? The ATDW website? Yeah. If, they, that if it's linking back to your front page of Tourism Queensland? From ATDW? You see those links, what their destinations, things to do, experience, all of that. Oh, that goes straight to queensandholidays.com.au. Which, yeah, but what I'm saying is the information that we upload onto the Australian data, yep. data warehouse would be seen on that. Would be seen on that, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can, you can have further content on this page or you link from there out, out of Facebook to your own website or wherever it is. Yeah. Okay, back to the presentation. Okay. I have an example. Tropical North Queensland had just uh, was just running a, a bigger campaign called the Ultimate uh, Adventure Crew, and actually this was lots of fun. What they did, they had in one of the apps a campaign running. You can win a trip with with a crew of five people. 
to tropical North Queensland. But to participate, you have to like the Facebook page. It's the first reason. But I thought, and I did it a couple of times, it is worth it to like this page because I get a five, is it five days, uh, 10 days. I get a holiday potentially for 10 days with my friends. So of course I like this page. As soon as I liked this page, I had access to this competition, to this campaign, and to participate in this kind uh, yeah, uh, of uh, a competition. What I can do now is, because it's all about uh, the adventure crew, I have to decide who is on my crew. And I clicked on the, on the left hand side on the different images. Rachel, oh, Rachel's not, she just left. My first crew member was Rachel. The second one was Luke. Then I have one from the digital team and, and myself. On the right hand side, you see the four little animals. That is my crew. I actually, this is really fun. And what happens in the background? Well, first, they know my friends. These four friends are now available to, to Tropical North Queensland to this, to this page. And because I have to enter yeah, their details, they ask me to post my new crew on my own wall. So I did that. I posted to my friends that I just participated in this kind of uh, competition, and they got a link to that page. And maybe are interested in participating as well, liking it and inviting friends again. I even had the possibility to send each of my crew members a post and a message saying, hey, by the way, you are on my crew. We may win something for 10 days holidays. And they get a link and say, get motivated to participate as well and to create a new crew. So you see, it's kind of a, a snowball system. Um, everybody is inviting everybody to participate and to potentially win. Unfortunately, I didn't win. <laughs> Sorry? Who uh, won? Someone in Sydney. Someone in Sydney did win. They had, uh, it was last week on Tuesday, they announced the winner. She couldn't believe it. She was just jumping up and down. <laughs> Yeah, uh, no, I didn't win. Okay, so that is a really nice way to first get lots of people that are interested in this region or in the product to participate. You get much more likes and you get your name on because they're just sharing those information about you and your company. So it's a good way to promote your product. Downside, you need someone who is programming this kind of app. Yeah, you have to, you have to spend a bit of money for, yeah, to create yeah, this kind of pattern. Where it shines, where it shines, Queensland shines on me, where Australia shines.